Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Okay, so I have this entire theater full of people that I need to uh, talk to. Let's start with this charming fellow right here, shall we? Yeah, wave your badge. I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. <laughs> okay, Jack the Raging Bull, gasoline stand owner. Okay. What about the FBI? Important distinction. Shut up. At least give okay. me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. If you want info, it'll cost you. Oh my I god. I only talk to Ben Franklin. You know, first impressions are important. I can detain you for a few days and maybe you'll become more fun to meet. <laughs> <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of yeah, time. Yeah, I hear you. I, I hear you, York. What a dick. Okay. So, who's this girl? Uh-huh. Pan up the legs. Okay. That's... Hey, good wow. looking. Nice speech. Uh-huh. Gina the Rose, Jack's wife. Dude, and your you husband are. is right there. My God. Oh, I'm Gina. Look at those I'm shorts. I'm Jack. He Holy runs shit. the gas station. There's, like, Call the belt is covering Rose. more than the shorts. You look pretty revealing. Oh, this old thing. Oh my you god. You see some of my other clothes. You. Oh, now you are. Dude. Cool. That scar really is a turn on. You Settle come down to my there. Station. Oh god. I'll give you a little extra space. Oh, no, oh, no. No, that. I can't believe how expensive gasoline <laughs> is. Thank you for nowadays. being oblivious, you are. Thank you. Be great. No, about my <laughs> current case. Oh Do you have my any god. information on Anna. Have you seen anything suspicious? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Talk to my hubby about the Yeah, stuff, I just okay? tried that. He was kind of a douchebag. This bag. is getting us nowhere, Zach. Yeah, let's just... Oh my god. So heaven and hell, that's where that comes from. Gotcha. Hi, Jim. How you doing? Jim, thanks for your help in the forest. How are Isaac and Isaiah? They're fine. They really seem to love their grandpa. Mm hmm Well, I guess they do, son. <laughs> I want to keep them away from the filth of the material world as much as I can. Um, Their mother okay. agrees, which is why she lets me take care of them so often. Okay. And that's why I want you to solve this case quickly and go home. Okay. Those rumors about that scar of yours do more damage oh? than good around here. I guess I reek of the material world, don't I? I have to in order to do my job. But I understand what you mean. Okay. I'd think the same if I was born in a place like yeah, this, Zach. Yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> okay, here's the thing. York is actually behaving like a, you know, like a socially adapted human being around all these folks here. I, I have this theory. He only acts the way he does around George and Emily and Thomas so that they can come and complain to the people in the town about how this idiot from the FBI has come and put out cigarettes on his plates and all kinds of crazy stuff like that and no one will believe them. They'll say, oh no, not Agent York, not Mr. Morgan, he's such a nice young man. It's just, they're just trying to, oh my god, what is this? Oh yes, yes, show her your badge. Oh my, my pot is getting cold. Oh god, roaming Sigourney nicknamed the Pot Lady. No, totally hey, not the log lady. Mister, my pot is getting cold. I, I'm you sorry are... to hear that. <laughs> Who? What are you saying? I'm Sigourney. Sigourney. Okay. Settle down, pot lady. Sigourney. Okay. Now, what is the matter? Can you explain? No time for chatting. I no. need to hurry. My pot is getting cold. Okay, just find the snack bar, oh, shove it in the microwave. You're useless. Zach, we've met all sorts today, but... Oh, boy. Really, she takes the cake. Amazing. I love the uh, coin purse on the chain around your neck. That's awesome. Hi, Polly. How you doing today? Mr. Morgan, you're quite an impressive public speaker. Really? Thank you, Polly. You reminded me a little of a play I saw oh, when I was younger. What kind of play? She's deaf I'm as a post, by the way. when this place was still called the Mercury Theater... When I was young, I used to come here often with my husband. Oh, boy. God rest his soul. We'd come on the weekend to see the latest play. 
He'd always pretend to be uninterested, <laughs> but I could tell he was excited inside. He was just one of those kind of guys, really, thinking about uh, yeah, now. Okay. Really, Polly. So what's your favorite play? Oh, well, I like so many. There was one in particular, but... Oh, Lord. I can't recall the name Oh, bless anymore. her heart. Oh, it was a very famous one, too. Something by Shakespeare? Oh, that really narrows it down. Oh, um... Ow, ow, ow. No, nothing. One more bell that doesn't <laughs> ring anymore. I've always been forgetful about the plays we used to see anyway. Oh, and my husband would get angry at me for forgetting what we saw. Oh, Lord. He'd go on for hours <laughs> retelling what the play was about. His eyes were so sparkling. Oh, like God, Polly. Boy. Okay, look, I love you, but... So, what's your favorite Can play? we... Oh, I almost forgot, Mr. Morgan. We're going to have oh? another guest soon. Really? I have to get back and get things ready. Okay. Sorry for having to hurry away. I'll Thank you. you. No, 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 no. It, it's no no problem, Polly. Love you. Bye. Zach, I think she could embarrass the toughest of the FBI <laughs> interrogators. She successfully avoided answering my question, Zach. Amazing. You can't answer it if you don't remember the answer. Oh, my God. Okay, that's that's the pot lady. Okay, she's still tripping over there. Here is somebody holding up. Oh, here's some. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, chill. Oh, I thought he was chewing her out. God. He looked like he was yelling at her. Hey no, there, he's FBI. he's sitting there I'm dancing. Oh my god. Okay. Nice hair, bro. FBI Special Agent Francis York. Yes, Morgan. we know York. Please call me York. That's what everyone always calls me. Okay, York. No problem, man. <laughs> so, Keith. Oh I hear god. you run the milk barn convenience store. That's right, man. Rock and roll. <laughs> Do you sell raincoats there by any chance? Yeah, but nobody ever buys them, though. Anyone who wears one of them, I say, just ain't a rocker. Oh, God. <laughs> no, that's Oh, yours. my God. Oh, yeah, I think this Swery learned <laughs> everything one. he actually knows about American culture. Then. Yeah, cool, From, man. like, looking at the Rock backs of CD FBI. cases. And, oh, my God. Now, as I mentioned before, he did actually take the entire... Deadly Premonition dev team on a field trip to America for research. So I, I've got to assume that all of this is intentional. He knows what you know things are actually like, and he's just putting this shit in because it's funny. Okay, this is uh, Mrs. Ingram, I'm guessing. Wedding ring. You're Isaac and Isaiah's mother. Yes, I'm Lily. Keith's wife. Oh God. How do we nominate somebody for sainthood? Because this lady right here... I'm FBI oh Special my Agent... God. Agent York, right? Yes, you are good. Yes, I was standing <laughs> right next to you from the big when I introduced myself to your husband. Trademark. Yeah. The way you introduce yourself, everyone's talking about you. Hey, well, you care about this crazy son of a bitch that always tells everybody but that Colin York and shoves myself. his badge up in people's Zach faces? I consider it a kind of ritual of sorts. Oh, okay. Everyone it's actually lampshaded. It. That's nice. It's like... Always leaving the house left foot first. It's one of those things. <laughs> you certainly I've are. I've never funny done that. One. So, have you noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Well, other than the dead girl tied to a tree, work, but, but aside uh, yeah. from that, I heard she was in shock after the murder. But you think there's something else? Well, I took the boys along to see her today. She's mm -hmm. always so kind to them, and they love seeing her, too. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Um? Something about a special secret between just the three oh, of them. okay. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Yeah, and a little creepy. Thank you, Lily. So where is Becky? Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow. Yeah, Zach. perhaps we should. Oh, God. That fucking guy. Oh, my God. Okay, here's this. Hi. Nice jeans. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Oh, God. Please call me. So, okay, so if I was, if I were doing Wesley, the drinking game today, the gun store called oh Panda hey, Bear. people around here call me the gunsmith. Wesley the gunsmith. Wesley. Oh God. 
I what see what you did there. I see I what you did there, and I approve. Like I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. Mm-hmm. I hope so. Oh, hey. Oh. He's got good stuff. He's got bullets. He's got flares. A uh, hundred bucks for a flare? Shit on a stick. I've already got one of those. Okay. Yeah, no thank you. I'll pass. You've got okay. quite a selection here. I wonder people <laughs> a selection come from all of around. what? I'm Even not today, sure. A customer paid me to go to Seattle for some help. I just got back. I see. Well, I'll be sure to visit your store sometime. Uh -huh. I'd like for you to take a look at my guy. <laughs> Understood. Look forward to it. I the shop will be open again tomorrow. It's usually okay. open from 2000 to 0600. Oh. See you then. Overnight. Okay. He works the graveyard shift. Okay. And who are you? Okay, she's his wife, apparently. That's I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Uh, and you are? Olivia, Nick's wife. Okay, that doesn't tell me much. Anna worked at your husband's diner, right? What kind of girl was she? Well, she was a very hard worker. A nice girl. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see her acting strange? <clears throat> well, not really. But there was one thing. That was just well, totally see, strange. The diner closes when it rains. Many uh. shops do that around here, as you might have heard. Anyway, uh -huh. Anna always seemed unfocused the day after it rained. And came in late, too. It was almost uh -huh. as if she used up all her energy the day before. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did you know, when I ask you really if there's her? something strange... Just a criminal. Criminal I'm going to catch and bring to justice. Uh-huh. You do that. And this guy? Nice crotch shot there. I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis <laughs> York Morgan. I presume you are the owner of the diner. <laughs> you know That's right. Uh-huh. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Anna Graham. Did you notice anything strange about her prior to the incident? <laughs> huh? Nick, are you hiding something? No, no. 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 You sure? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't like repeating myself. Okay. Yeah, he's totally hiding something. I, it does not take a master interrogator to figure that much out. Okay, who's this guy? Hi. Whip out the badge. So Come on, you're York. The Come FBI on, do it. Do you? it. The general, owner of the scrapyard. Okay. <clears throat> that's that's not a general. I'm FBI special agent. Right, there you go. I'm the general. I fought for my country in the that, Vietnam That's not War. general. Right. Okay, Generals don't have stripes. Hero. That's. So why are you living here? <sighs> Soldier, this is my hometown. Oh my god. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. Your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. Yeah. Was that a problem? You imbecile. The uh? raincoat killer's no myth, <laughs> not mere folklore. Or in a fairy tale. It's really? based on actual events that happen in this town. Oh, really? It is. I'm interested. Can you tell me more about this? <laughs> you kids today don't even know how to ask for something um, right. Well. Soldier, if you want to hear more, you come to my office. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. He literally exudes raw power, Zach. <laughs> Despite the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One yes, thing, we though, should. Calls himself a general, but thank you. Isn't that a sergeant's uniform? I just fucking said. He uh, served with Jane Doe, and uh, yeah. 
Agent York, you make any progress? Mm -hmm. Of course, plenty. <laughs> tell me, Usher, when is Anna's funeral? Mm, that's still undecided. Sally isn't really in any condition to do it right now. Uh. Mother, I don't see her here. Anna was a sole reason for living after her husband was deceased. Well, she's probably yeah. huddled up at home. And I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should. And I'd appreciate it if you could, too. Okay. Uh, but don't go no, too hard. No, no, of course. Okay? I think Fiona is the last person I have to talk to here. Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Wait, Hello wait. again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Well, Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that was good advice. He may be young, but he seems like a wise man. Oh, and he's a very hard-working oh, person, Oh, somebody's got a crush. Everyone thinks he's some kind of weirdo, but I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room. He's right there. But I do. Talking about he's him like he's not there. to make the world a better place in the future. Uh, you know, he already made a fortune in L.A. with his career. I did not know that. Oh? You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich really? man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Amazing, Zach. He must be loaded. Rich <laughs> and young. A perfect combination. But you don't get that feeling from him at all, do you? He doesn't show it. No, he's That's totally oblivious. Like See, look him. at him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Thanks no. for the valuable information, Fiona. Uh? Oh dear. <laughs> Let's see, does he have anything new to say? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so... Let's see, I've talked to these guys already. Uh, let me go down the other side. I'm just gonna run through here like a wild animal. Anybody down this way? Oh, up oh, there's somebody. Oh, it's her. Oh, hey, another smoker. Anna was an airhead. Excuse you? What do you mean? Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead? Some long ass cigarette. Or are you saying that she got. was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure she's still an airhead, even in heaven. She changed her hair every day. If she lost a pound, she'd be ecstatic. Gain one, and she'd almost be in tears. She broke many, many plates every day at the diner, and she'd always have a smile on her face. You'd think they'd run out of fun. plates after Everyone a while. looked at her and knew she was a cute, adorable, loving airhead. But they would be smiling right along uh -huh. with her. I wouldn't be surprised if the angels smiled with her too. Um. Oh. Uh, hello. Isaac and Isaiah said that Anna was a fairy of the forest. A goddess. Okay. Uh, check out them shoes. Check out them stiletto heels. Um, what's up? I must Agent have talked to everybody. I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's go outside. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Nice meeting you. Yep, yep. You rock on, buddy. Okay, where's the pot lady? <laughs> There's... Oh my god, look at look at her. Look at her walking. Look at that strut. Work it, girl. Work it. Greenvale inhabitants. Total time clear. Yay! I finished the chapter. Some money. Woohoo! I got monies. Yeah, I'll save. 
Mm, donuts. Oh God! Welcome, Agent York. Do you have any plans for this evening? I was going to head back to it's the hotel. It's the whistling song again. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report too. Okay, and let's call it a day here. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner oh, of the Oh yeah. Should be back soon. All right then, let's do that. Another gratuitous Twin Peaks reference. Hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's diner. Would you like to come with us? The diner. Oh, oh yeah. Goodness. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is the real deal. <laughs> no visit to Greenvale is complete without eating at the A and G. A very appealing proposition. Zach, what do you think? We can always go back to the yeah, hotel. Yeah, sure. After let's do dinner, it. Or go directly back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. Let's eat with him. Ah, boy, the whistling song again. Okay, the little kid's table I've over been there. I've here for a long time now. Uh-huh. And this is the worst murder I've ever seen. Our this music is, is not appropriate <laughs> for this discussion. It's usually a peaceful place. We had our fair share of oh cases. Oh, my God. But just the regular stuff. Yeah, just just regular high murders. Kids shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe, <laughs> or some hot-headed kids fighting, fueled on liquor. Nothing more than that. Uh, Agent York, uh, what kind of cases have you? Do dealt you with in really the past? want to know? Not much I don't different from those think, you just yeah, mentioned. Yeah, the FBI routinely gets involved in kids case shoplifting cases. Until oh, last God. month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck uh, and York. took them back to his house. People are eating. He cleaned the skulls up and used them as utensils <laughs> in his daily life. I feel life you, Thomas. To eat from or as a urine cup. <laughs> he hated women. That was his way of dealing with it. So anyway, you, uh, you going to finish that salad, Emily? He fills skulls with ice, cola, and rum. Oh, God. And he downed it in one gulp. For him, that was a Rum and ritual. Coke and a skull. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, George. Thank For you. Me, he was insane. A hundred percent. Drinking from the skulls. Oh, God. Well, that is oh, God. It's going to get worse. <laughs> but those he had used to Oh, no. Kit, can you not? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was too much for me. It's just not sanitary. <laughs> <clears throat> not sanitary. Uh, that's probably not the problem for most. Oh God! Of us. What else? Oh no, York. That that's ah, yes. enough. That's an ingenious law school. Student oh no. Over 800 victims. That was a nasty one. Thank you. Okay, thank York. you, now, Emily. Let's talk about something else. Yes, please. You don't want to hear anymore. No. That's a shame, isn't it, Zach? No, it's not. I was just about no. to get to the good part, York, too. No, no. Sounds like you live in a totally different world. I mean, you're like an elite agent who just jumped out from oh, a God. movie or something. In your eyes, we must look like we're just playing well, cops and robbers. Ugh, I give up. I can't compete with you. Don't say that, Emily. The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. A crime is a crime. I love the beer label. Just Size generic beer. There is no big and small. Crimes always have a. It, York, it's already lit. You don't need to light it again. And a victim. It, it's already lit. No victim. York, put it away. Ever welcome put, a crime. Put put it away. No what its size. So fundamentally, there is oh my God. no difference in size. Okay. Thank you. Well said, Agent Morgan. We work day and night to preserve peace and oh my order God, in this George town. My God, George is actually agreeing with me. You understand that, right? Oh my God. Of course, but still, I don't view shoplifting and Anna's murder as the same level of well, crime. Well, no. Me, neither. I never even dreamt that such a thing could ever even happen in this town. 
I keep on expecting okay, to see Okay, all right. Here in this diner, waiting on tables. <laughs> Settle down there, Thomas. <laughs> oh, now, see, look what we did. We made Thomas cry. Excuse us, Agent Morgan. <laughs> we should have made dinner a more uplifting experience. Let's call it a night, okay? Yeah, good probably night. a good idea. You okay, Thomas? You, you need a hanky? Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, uh, on that note, I think I am going to call it a day. I'm going to go across the street here and save. And I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.